Good morning, I'm Matt Sizemore. BLM crews in southern Idaho spent the weekend battling several wildfires. The Horse Butte fire burning about 17 miles northwest of the town of Aberdeen has already grown to more than 9,000 acres. The lightning caused fire sparks Saturday afternoon during a passing thunderstorm. Crews are working the fire from the ground and the air. It's now 80% contained, but that's not the only concern. The Lake Channel fire has also grown to more than 8,000 acres, but is nearly now 100% contained. BLM firefighters are also working on a handful of smaller fires. A traffic alert for drivers in Nampa. Major construction starts today to add lanes on I-84 between the Franklin Boulevard exit and the Karcher Midland Interchange. Crews will start prepping that work zone today, but it won't impact your commute too much. All lanes will stay open during morning and evening rush hours with lane shifts in the work zone and periodic overnight lane restrictions. The Boise Greenbelt between Veterans Memorial Park and Esther Simplot Park is back open after being closed for two years for flooding repairs. Now crews are working to repair the stretch between Willow Lane and Lake Harbor Lane. You'll see detour signs on both sides of the closure. The city says that particular stretch of the Greenbelt will likely be closed for the next few weeks. Well, time now for checking the On Your Side forecast. Rachel Garceau is standing by with what to expect. Hi, Rachel. Hey there, Matt. Happy Monday, everyone. You heard Matt mention those wildfires from over the weekend, and we have more fire concerns today as scattered thunderstorms down in the southern highlands and over into portions of eastern Idaho could trigger more fires because of the lightning and then the gusty winds that can fuel those flames. So that is a concern with those red flag warnings from about 1 to 8 o'clock this evening. Here in the Treasure Valley, though, most of that storm act activity should steer clear. We'll have clearing skies, which means lots of sunshine this afternoon. Temperatures cooler than average for this point in July. We should be up near 90 in Boise. Once again, just mid 80s on tap today. 87 tomorrow and then on Wednesday, the heat is on. We're talking dog days of summer coming at us. Some of the warmest temperatures of the year starting Wednesday. In fact, by this coming weekend, Boise may be flirting with the triple digits on Saturday. For your very latest news and weather headlines, remember you can always visit sixonyourside.com.